Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, nerds, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of a, a game called Goliath. Uh, in this game, you play this dude with this fancy metal arm, and you have the ability to make Goliath fight things on a strange planet type thing. And I play this a little bit to get kind of feel for the controls and whatnot, and it's also got uh, uh, controller support, but we're gonna just use mouse and keyboard, it seems to work pretty well for us. Let's start a new game. Let's go to us. Delete my one, don't care. Let's do it. Here we are in our fancy plane. And... It explodes. And we crash land into the savage land of Frothy McIslands. Then we have died, and that is all we got for Goliath. We were in a plane, never saw our face, and we died. One assumes we looked attractive, had a metal arm. <clears throat> Complete the task in the experiment tab to build new Goliaths. Hmm. Loading screen's a little long, but from what I figured out, uh, our whole first section is going to be learn how to play the game. And I look forward to sharing that with all of you, uh, eventually. These loading screens get too too long. I'm just gonna pause my way through them. All right, we landed. Somehow I survived. Where am I? Better build a shelter and make a fire. Okay, move with the waz keys and chop down the tree. Let's do it. And when you're chopping down a tree, it's not to hold the E button. You gotta keep whacking away at the E button to chop down the tree. Here is my health bar, obviously. And this is our experience bar. This determines the kind of moves we get when we get into different kind of clients. Yeah. So I'm gathering a bit more logs because later on this place gets more dangerous. I want to try to get as much wood as I can right now, while it's uh, pretty lax. Also, if you push the three button, you can shoot things. Might be asking yourself, why did you shoot that poor innocent little, little bunny? Well, first of all, it's a game, so he's uh, he's made a code, so he doesn't really feel nothing. And second of all, because it gave me gold coins. And I presume I will be using those gold coins for uh, buying cool things. Later date. Alright, I think that's enough gathering for now. These guys, they got no chill. They just want to take us out. I wasn't even giving him no, no, no ish, and he just came for me. I go on to end my life. <laughs> Preserve your ammo. No, actually, it's infinite. <laughs> You got a cool sense of humor there, like, yeah, let's say you had to do this thing, except eh, it's fine. There's some berries. Oh, another thing I figured out when you push the E button is it doesn't matter what you're aiming at exactly. Oh, maybe it does. It, like, runs towards whatever or whatever, but I think it's like if I'm facing this one and I push E and I push my mouse is over here, yeah, I move over there. So it's like if I think I'm doing something with that one, but I'm pushing over here, yeah, he'll run over to there because that's what I'm actually moused over. So it's like, yeah, I'm facing this thing, but I push it over here if there's something over here to go over there. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning zone and see what we end up with. Now let's let's zoom in on this dude for a second. Let's check him out. Okay, he's got a regular arm and then he's got like ridiculous metallic arm. 
I assume he didn't hurt himself in the crash to get his arm because it was already installed. Did not see a mechanic for installing metallic arms anywhere, but I could be wrong. All right. Push the one button. Push it with our palms, and boom. Let's make some of this into coal, okay? <laughs> now we're going to make about, uh, what, like five coal? Yeah. Not all of it. We need some of that stuff. This one wants us to make some healing ointments. We craft all of those, though. Then we heal ourselves with the Ziki. There we go. The radio's kicking on. Okay, let's see who that is. Uh, anyone there? What radio? So we're working after the crash, and who could be calling me? Oh, my head. Hello? Do you read me? This is Gromov. Gromov, Gromov, you made it, buddy. Thought you were gone. Where are you? Well, I'm all right by the plane, but uh, before I ask where you are, uh, who are you? Man, you must have gotten knocked in the head pretty hard. Don't you remember me? It's Dave. Dave, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm a little confused right now. You're my co-pilot, right? Uh, I got thrown free free when the plane broke apart. I landed in the forest somewhere, uh, banged up, but I'm in a safe place. I'll be okay. Well, frankly, I don't know how I'm still alive. Well, the radio works. I gotta be in range. How do I find you? The signal's strongest when I go south, so I'm thinking you would need to go north to find me. Okay, I'll be right there. Wait, wait. Don't be so hasty. Have you seen the kinds of monsters that are out there in this place? If you come straight to me, you'll be eating faster and you can say, No, no, please, don't eat me. To be perfectly honest, I don't think we're in France, Europe, or even Earth anymore. We need to figure out what's going on, how to survive, and how to get home. Okay, so what do I do? I'm safe here, so make yourself safe there. Get some supplies that you need from the surrounding areas so we can start figuring out how to meet up. Okay, start playing. He said, don't go north. What am I going to do? I'm going to go north. Because I'm a rebel. Can't stop me. Dude, I got a metal arm and a gun. And it's a giant freaking bull. That's not That's not cool, man. So we hop back into our on-fire plane. You've made it safely inside the fuselage of the plane. The monster beats on the outside mercilessly while you cower in the cockpit. In front of you are arranged switches, throttles, and buttons. There appears to be a tiny amount of gas in the tank, juice in the battery. What's that matter? It's all attacked. This is on fire. Fine, let's start it up. Kachoom! The undamaged right engine turns over. Something inside it explodes with force that tears the wing off, smashes the monster in the face, and knocks it down for the count. Hmm. Sure, it's less stressful to beat up monsters when I'm safe inside some sort of armor. Now think about this. Kshkromov. Katu's news. Become something, something amazing. They can really change everything for us. But first, how are you? Uh, well, I just knocked out a giant monster by hiding in our plane and then smashing the engine on, and wing on his face. Long silence. Hmm. That's way better than my thing. I just started a fire and cooked the fish. But anyway, nice work. What are you going to do now? I have an idea that I'm going to start gathering up lumber, metal, and see if I can't armor myself so that I can be safe. We're walking through this monster-infested lands. Hold on a second. How about both? Being armored and vulnerable plus having smashing powers, that'd be amazing. You wouldn't be afraid of anything. You could walk all over this monster world. Say you're right. Let me see if I can find a safe place to go... To get materials together and build something, if only I knew where a safe place was. Uh, I think I know this. There are some obelisks around the this world that the monsters don't go close to. So you could have a pretty safe safe area to work. I think I saw one north of here. Thanks, Dave. Cold beans. So, he got knocked out. Now he's... Uh, I, I guess he's being, like, slow-cooked under this wing thing. Like, like it's 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 smoking, so I'm guessing it's hot. So it's just gonna like tss, and like like some sort of like panini press, but with the monsters. That sounds cool. It sounds delicious. Doesn't sound cool for that dude. He's like oh, he's knocked out. I think he might be dead. But that's uh, that's firmly his problem. So let's go over here and see what we need. Level three. Let's push one to make the Goliath construct thingy. So this here. You know, I need five logs and ten twigs. I got plenty of those. Here we go. This is the thing we use to build Goliaths. And this is a place we use to store Goliaths. But he'd be level four for that. So let's come back to that later. Now we push the button. And this is where we construct our Goliath. From different parts. Now if we look at it, this one 
viewport, 75 HP. This one gives us 150 HP. And acid resist, electric resist, negative fire resist. Regenerates in water. So, right now, all we can do is construct one solid Goliath. But as we get further on in the game, I imagine these slots unlock, and we can either make the whole Goliath one way, like a solid wood, or we could just change, like, the head or something. But for now, let's craft this Goliath. So we tap that, and it tells us the full description. This is the wood Goliath. He's made of lightweight, and he's mobile, and made from friendly materials. Press space to roll. He quickly overheats at high temperatures and can catch fire, taking damage. Regenerate damage in water or high humidity. Meter fuels while running. Hold the light attack to activate overdrive. So, at level 4, which we are not, we can throw a boulder, but level number 1. Level 6, we do the spin attack. And level 17, we can do some sort of nature summoning thingy. Level 4, no problem. Level 6, no problem. Level 17, uh, might take us some time. Scrum off you there. It's Dave again. I got good news. Listen, buddy, I don't think we're on the same island. What? This world is made of all these bits and pieces and people and creatures that have been pulled from all over the universe, but they haven't all stuck together like a planet. It's like there are chunks all orbiting around something at the center. What's at the center? Who knows? Something powerful and dark. I can't see it in the sky. Oh, well, it's probably not important. We should put it out of our minds. So, is this why radio reception is so wonky? That's the thing. With the way these worlds orbit, sometimes you can spin close to each other and reception is good, and sometimes they're far away and the reception is bad. Sometimes we're completely blocked from each other and we can't get communication at all. Well, for crying out loud, I spent all this time building a big armored walking robot thing to get to you, and you're not even on the same world. Silver lining, one of me. Do you know the portals that's near the back of the obelisk and base you made? It doesn't work, right? Well, I did some experimenting on mine here. Just need a couple of things uh, to work. Uh, a green gem, a little glue, and a stick. You have a jury rig together like that, and it'll, it'll work from world to world. Then we can start figuring out how, how to meet up. Yeah, I know those things are. Okay. I'll work on it right away. The old T to switch between Gromoth and the Elias. So see, if I build another one, first you need a garage, I think. I don't know. But if I build another one, like different than this one, then it would go over here. Push tab. I see I've only got one for me and one for I think I need to build a garage and I can have more slots that I can switch to on the fly. And that's the character info for that. Uh, can't be visibility revolver. Okay. Uh. Oh, there it is. It's very dark, but you can kind of see. Oh, he really wants us to know that this is how we do combat. There we go. Now, journal map. Ooh, okay. Wants to go over here. I guess to get gems. And what's this? Experiments. To get the next level and head. Set the wooden Goliath on fire in the winter biome. Body, get level 9. Hand. Kill 20 enemies with fire based weapons. Legs. Kill 5 desert golems in a wood goliath. Oh, I see! So, we need to do something involving fire. And then we can unlock this fire hand. And it won't even let us look at the next thing until we unlock this thing. So. What we're going to do this time, that I didn't do last time I tried to play this game, is we're going to actually go for some of these experiments so we can up this thing. Because the wood golem, he gets the job done. But not as cool as it would be to be on fire. Just saying, man. Yeah. So the first thing we need to do is find a fire weapon, and then everything we kill, we're going to kill with fire. Then eventually we get to the desert. we got to kill these desert golem things. And then we got to get to level 9, which just happens over time. And then we set, set us on fire in a winter biome. That's not going to be as fun. But we're going to do it. 
For science. Let's check on this stuff over here. See, I did it again. You gotta make sure on the right thing. There we go. Take everything in here. Oh yeah, these are used to repair the bots. So that's cool. Looks like all the things that we need. Now, here's another cool thing. If I tap once with my new golem, um, now I can get entire trees just with a single tap. No more of this, like, hitting it like crazy. Just one tap, and we are good to go. Gather up some more wood. Because, why not? Probably gonna need this wood for repairs, I think, or something. Oh, look, gems. Spider. Oh boy. Wow, we are level we were level three already. Oh. But a good way towards the next level, huh? And then these things here look like where they come out of, like spawning points of some sort. Um, so let's kill those too, so they don't just keep coming at us. We gotta keep tapping the button. None of this whole, whole shenanigans. You gotta work for it. So we got plenty of gems. I can repair the portal. And we'll move on to the next place. Let's check our map. There's a treasure chest down over here. I think we gotta fully explore maps and get everything we can out of the bits we can. Because my guess is, once you leave an area, it thinks you know what you're doing. And if you don't... Um, it's still gonna hit you pretty hard. Yeah. So let's fully explore this map here. Oh, these freaking chickens, man. They... I'm just freaking like a woodpecker of some sort. So I couldn't figure out uh, how to deal with them before, but if you just step on the eggs, then they can't spawn them anymore because they're just birds. Take this down, I need. There it is back there. Frosty stone, silicone, and coal. Let's take it and close. What else does this map hold? Another chest over there, and then we'll move on and go to the next area. sort of flame thingy. That's cool. Let's put that here. Keeps making us go back there. What I want to do is take some more stone. Now I think... Check our map one more time. I think we got everything that was here. There's more map to explore, though. So let's... 
Let's give it a give it a whirl. Yeah, it's just uh doesn't know how to tell you that the map's over. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, now we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna jury rig this this teleportation device up and we're gonna go to the new world. Nothing interesting. Markwood, DIY. Do it yourself? Okay, well. So we'll go to the new new Markwood area. Where hopefully we can find even more parts and more people to see and things to do. Oh, that loading, though. Uh, Scrum off you there. I heard some rumors about the world you're on. It's, it sounds like the folk could help you most. And our, our, uh, the Forest Brotherhood. Uh, the Forest Brotherhood? So a bunch of guys that are literally trying to hang on the forest? Uh, it's worse than that. The ksh, they're not people. They're not related to each other. They're ksh. Sorry, I didn't get that. Repeat over. I said they're ksh, and they're extremely ksh when they're ksh. Shake the radio. No, silence. Guess I moved out of range. So, oh yeah, we have to get all back. So it looks like we're going to have to do something with this Brotherhood people. Uh, let's see what we got here. So, the map says everything's over there. Hmm. Are they fox people? Well, let's go find out. Let me see something over here real quick, though. I'm just a standard dude. What about this weapon constructible? I need some glues. Can I make my own glues? I try this thing. I think I made glues last time, right? Uh, e. Ultra strong glues. Let's see. One, two. How many do I need? I need six. So I need four more. Looks like I need more spider webs. Okay, well, I can't make that yet. That's what I use to make better weapons, I assume. It's a weapon station. It says it wants us to go this way. We want to kill spiders so we can get their webs. Hello, spider. Die in a fire. Oops. So if we look at our experiment stab, we killed one thing with fire. Another 19 and we can get fire hands. I don't know how that will work with this wooden thing. I think I have to, I'd have to go all out. I wouldn't be able to have fire hands on this wood beast creature, but... It says they mix and match, so I'll prove them wrong. Oh boy. Why isn't he getting out and getting some of this cooked chicken, man? It's a waste. What the heck? Why is he shooting that way? It's over there.
some awesome horror music for our battles with the chickens. I've done it. Now I have these hands unlocked. Cool. Got everything I need, too. Maybe when we get back, we can try that out. Let's collect our coins and go see what they want us to see. Fur tree. Oh, I should have got a tree. Just behind the lantern tree thing looking. Um, hello. Root toot toot, hail and well met, stranger. Welcome to the Forest Brotherhood. You appear to be friendly, but my goodness, one just doesn't know. Ho ho, might I inquire your business, in Sparta Markwood? Uh, hi, I'd like to talk to your leader. Got to figure out how to get there. Oh, I see. Oh, yes. Uh, I indeed do. Ho ho, the leader is away for a moment. In fact, he is on a mission. A marvelous mission. A mission to save the foxes. Very livelihood. But who might you be? And why would you like to see him? Uh, my name is Gromoth. I'm not from here. I need some help to get home. Very good. The Forest Brotherhood is always happy to help those on a mission. Uh, our leader is north of here. Uh, if you want to... If you were to join his group and help them on their secret mission, he would be sure to do whatever he could to assist you. Godspeed and farewell. Alright, the mission says go this way. And uh, these guys are traitors. Reputations are strong enough with Forest Brotherhood. Required five. Okay, you see reputation anywhere? I do not. No. Very strange indeed. You seem very, very fanciful. Regenerating in water. Yeah. One more level and we'll unlock our whirlwind ability. That would be cool. It's raining. So now, even not in water, we are healing. We're gonna mess with these dudes because uh, we already have the 20 kills we need. But if they want some, they could get some. In fact, we're so close to level 6, let's just give it to them. Let's turn the camera around so we can see what we're doing, and... Still so close, not quite. Spiders! He was going so fast for a second there because he unlocked his super. What's this thing down here? I thought it unlocked in combat, it unlocks it in motion. health and everything else. So the health I don't gotta keep an eye on because it's raining. Since it's raining, we're regenerating as we go. And now, I can now build an armor in my base because I'm a high enough level. That's cool. I think I have spider webs too. Let's check our map and see where we are. We are here. And our base is over here. So we're gonna go talk to that dude after we kill the spider. Now to test our new power. Ready? Go, go, go. It's still raining, so health isn't a big issue. And we got all their stuff. That's cool. A little more spider to boot. Halt. You there. Stay away from the chest. Leader's orders. Uh, don't worry. I wasn't going to take anything. You want an exp expedition members? Salute. Uh, Frederick the Steady. Accountant, second class. Yes, I've been tasked with making an inventory of all the treasures we found. Not glory glorious work, but it's still important. But the other day I uh, interrupt. Right. So, where did everybody else go? Oh, them? They went to the frozen chart. Treasure isn't really the main goal of this expedition. If you ask me to drift, wink, wink. Secret stuff. I can't tell you. It's classified. Don't even ask because I'll never... Okay, thanks. Bye. So let's uh, get back to our little base. Overdrive active. 
Uh oh. Cool. I think it said he was level 15, but now he's level crushed. Mm -hmm. I don't know if our level actually makes us more dangerous, but it seems like we're really taking out things a lot easier now than when we first started. So, maybe actually going through and taking some time and taking these things out is making it a little easier for us to do what we need to do. But when you move to the next zone, the next zone don't care that you were really cool shenanigans in your last zone. You want to back up as part of your tactic? Okay, I'll just shoot you. Aim for throws a little difficult sometimes. Now, is it shooting when I aim? Yeah, it is sometimes. Okay, so. The mission is telling us to go to this thing and go to the next place. But before we do all that, let's make the... Weapon construct? It said something about the armory. Bring on the stone. I'm gonna make a weapon construct thingy, so we need two more strong glues. Okay, let's make two more strong glues. Then we'll make the weapon construct. There it is. Now, this game is entirely text based, it, it counts on you to read things. So when we pick the weapon station and we click on something. It's stone and wood. Now, is it that only wood hands can use wood things? I don't know. Uh, fiery catapult. Hand catapult. See, we got one of these things. We found it in a chest. Um, but we need to make sure we keep... Uh, well, no, we don't. We killed everything with wood we needed to kill. So let's go over here to the uh, this thing here. And look at the hands. And look at this. Do not collect dry grass with these hands. Uh, can we make it? We can. That's kind of weird. So now I got Fire Fist. Inventory. Looks like it's broken or something. But anyway, so now we got one more than one loadout. So if you wanted to, we can use a different loadout, maybe? Let's see what the T says. Yeah, see, we could take this loadout and this loadout. What is the difference? Now, oh, see, we can go back to our original just straight wood loadout. I don't know why we would. Or we can go to this fanciful loadout with the flame fist. Yeah, let's give that a whirl, huh? Let's go to the place it wants us to go to. Welcome to the snow. Now, <clears throat> unfortunately, I think we've run out of time for the day. Hope you guys are having fun watching me play this cool new game called Goliath, where we've got our fancy flame fist and we're ready to take out the world. Next time, we'll join us back here and we'll give the world. Uh, I'll see you next time.